Welcome to episode 2 of my video blog for Nino Rota's Il Capello di Paglia di Firenze, aka the Florentine Straw Hat. I hope you enjoy! I'm here with director Nancy Hermiston. What is it like directing such a fast-paced comedy? Well, it's a little bit frantic, a lot of fun, um, and um, this piece is just go, 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 and it's trying to keep everybody as energetic as Nino Rota is with his music mm -hmm. and his comedy. Um, I just think he's such a great composer and he's tipping his hat to Puccini, to Verdi, Rossini, Donizetti, Bellini, all the wonderful Italian composers. So I'd have to say it's a great joy. It's uh, tiring, <laughs> but energetic, energizing and uh, lots and lots of fun with such great casts. Do you have a favorite section of the opera? Oh, I don't know. I just love it all. I think it's so funny. And I love the lyrical moments, but I get such a kick out of the comic moments. They are so much fun to see, and I just think it's very uplifting. And particularly good for um, uh, January, February days. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> For people that haven't heard of the opera before, what can they expect coming to the show? They can expect beautiful melodies. They can expect wonderful songs that they'll go out humming and will mm -hmm. stick in their heads. They'll hear beautiful orchestrations, tremendous orchestrations, and lots of colors with the orchestra, and fantastic singing, beautiful sets, beautiful costumes and a tremendous amount of fun. Thank you. Yes! I told you, we're fast, we're fast. Are we doing a circle or are we doing a circle? We've already challenged yeah. people are fast. Here we go, and il taco, il taco. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'm here with Kyle who is playing Beau Pertui. What can you tell us about this character? Uh, Beaupartuis is a cuckold, really, well, cuckolded by his wife. And he uh, he becomes in, quite enraged by this. He's significantly older than her, so mm -hmm. he's continually suspicious. And um, so when we first meet him, he's sitting at home alone, and his wife's been gone all day again. And mm -hmm. he, <laughs> he loses it. He just snaps, and then somebody invades his home, and that's Fadinard, and... Um, it, but he's not really smart enough to connect the dots along the way when he has these clues like this, this mysterious hat which he knows his wife has has disappeared and he receives a piece of it and he, do, he doesn't really connect the dots and he, he never really does. He comes very, very close. He accuses her but through uh, Fadinard's significant efforts he's duped by the end all is happy, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Your character has really great musical themes. Do you have a favorite part to sing? Absolutely. His, uh, his aria theme, which is his... Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 da. Like, it's just, it's wonderfully, it's chromatic, but yet it's so expressive in this descending line. Um, yeah, it's my favorite theme as well, definitely. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's incredibly expressive, and, and it returns in multiple facets in it. Mm -hmm. Every time. It's it's great to sing. It's, it sits in the voice very well. Thank you. Chelsea and Stacy, who are two of our fabulous chorus members. <laughs> what is it like being in a chorus that is so involved in the opera? 
it's very exciting. There's a lot of chorus in this opera, so um, you know we're really busy running in and out between scenes, and yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it really keeps you alert, and it's also really great because you get to work with so many people. Like mm -hmm. I'm meeting more people because you you're just constantly working with them and getting to know people better, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And do you guys have a favorite part of the opera? Yes, I definitely do. Oh my goodness. I love <laughs> Act 3, where we're sneaking through the apartment. It is so funny, and I love my character in it, my made-up character yes. I have. Yes. Um, and I really try and protect the leads the whole time. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm very concerned for my own safety. So, yeah. Quite yeah. A nice it's, balance. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. How about you, Stacey? Um, the storm scene? <laughs> it's the Pinto and all the chorus is on stage, and there's this big brainstorm going on. So everyone has okay. these umbrellas, and it's just like a mess, but it's like a choreographed mess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, it, it looks, looks, so it yeah. looks really good. It looks really and great. With the music, it's just like, uh, it's one of those like silent films, kind of. You're just like watching this disaster happen, but the music's still going, and it's just like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> The Florentine Straw Hat is running in the Chan Center February 6th to 9th. I hope to see you there. Bye!